So today we're going to show you how to fit a replacement yoke loom on your Dyson DC25. What stops the power going to the cleaner head, typically. You used to be able to buy the loom like this in the plastic frame from Dyson. They've discontinued that. So now we have our own, which is just the loom that you can buy. So you three screws first. All these screws are T15, by the way, Torx. So three screws, take the cover off. Then you just release the clip, pop off the cleaner head. Four screws to take off the ball. And the ball comes apart in two sections like this. You've now two screws on the top. And then you've got one screw underneath that's a little bit hidden. Now, observe where the wires go. Photograph them on your phone if necessary. So you're, you can see actually where the loom is broken there, the white wire. So you're releasing that spade like that. Take the other one off the micro switch. And pop off the little plastic carrier. Feed the wires through like that. Again, Observe here the, where the wires go. And you release the clips from inside the frame with something very small, small screwdriver, little spike, something like that, like this. Out comes the loom. Here's your new loom that you've bought from us. You can buy them on our site, Amazon or eBay. Make sure you get them the right way around and be aware that they make a little snap as they locate home in the clip. Now you have to locate the cables back in these little tracks and the, there are little pegs in there to help you do that but as you may notice in a minute during installation again you might find that the the wires like to pop out of the tracks and if they do you won't be able to refit the plastic carrier so make sure that they are still in you may need to take it in and out once or twice so observe where the wires feed back through. You see that red one's come out there. 
and it needs to go back in. Otherwise, that you won't be able to refit that carrier. Make sure those wires stay in that little track. Now, refitting this carrier can be quite fiddly. And it may take you two or three goes. Like I said, fiddly. And make sure those wires stay in the in the little carrier. And you see there, now it's home. And two screws back on top. So the spade back on the micro switch, see how it feeds through. And that little micro switch carrier has to be located correctly. Or the machine won't switch on the head. It's important here that the wires go back exactly as they were. Reconnect the white wire and the cover goes back on with the three screws Now it's a question of just refitting the ball. This can be a little bit fiddly because it has to sit exactly correct on the pivot point. You see that little white gear? It needs to sit exactly right. same with the second half so they sit together nice and snug and four screws again to put the ball back together we'll skip two of them Cleaner head goes back on exactly like it did before. Back in with the filter and back on with the top cover. And that's all there is to it. Took us 10 minutes, might take you a little longer.